Hey guys, what's up? Today in the Brick Lab, we are going to be not making a lame joke about plastic surgery. What we're going to be doing is building a new head for Chompy. So to be quite honest, I don't actually mind the Chompy's head, at least the one we got in the set. It's not very accurate to how it's supposed to look in the show, the mouth doesn't open, and it's kind of on the small side, but I mean, otherwise it's okay. But then I got some requests to change it up a little bit, and I took a look at it and thought, huh, what could I change up on this thing? So let's go ahead and take a look. Now this head is not entirely accurate to Chompy's head, in fact it's kind of a blend of Chompy's head and the head from the original Master Wu Dragon from 2015. You can see we kind of had those uh, prominent eyebrows with the two horns poking out of the back of the head and of course we have some more spike detail in the back here and you know I really like the texture that these pieces add and I really wish we had those in 2015 for the Master Wu Dragon and then of course looking here we have Chompy's distinctive blue eyes some more texture for the face and best of all an opening jaw so you can actually get a couple different positions. And there is one downside to it, and that is that it is a little bit top heavy. The reason why the designer stuck with that tiny head was so that you could actually pose it in the, and it would stay where you wanted it to. Um, but with this head, it's just a little bit top heavy. So if you try to, you know, move it out of place a little bit, it's just going to topple and probably eventually end up with uh, Chompy and his nose to the ground. Of course, you can fix it by uh, switching out these pieces with uh, maybe some click hinges or maybe even a, ball and socket assembly like the ones used in the rest of the neck and yeah and then as you can see I also added in some uh, tiles to the neck here just to help smooth that out and uh, also on the uh, back here we have um, we have some slopes and some tooth pieces that just kind of help narrow the body down a little bit more and then also you know some tiles just to help smooth that out and then on the back leg the only other change I made was to add in a couple of these round stadium tiles and this piece which I don't know just you know, help round out the design a little bit. And plus, uh, with these tiles, they just help the legs stay in place a lot better. It's not like sliding forward as ridiculously far as it used to. Um, so yeah, there's that. And, um, well, yeah, there's that. That's, that's, that's really it. This wasn't, uh, this wasn't a very intensive design. So at this point, you're probably wondering just how to make that fabulous new head for Chompy. And if you are, well, fear not. We have a part list in the description, so go ahead, gather those bricks, and we'll get started on the build. Now, ordinarily, I'd try to do a step-by-step, -step, but we're running a little bit behind on schedule, so I'm just gonna, you know, show you how to do this, and then we're gonna wing it. That is not unintentional pun. Anyway, so to make Chompy's head, we're going to start with a 2x4 plate. We're going to put on some of these brackets and teeth pieces, and then this cool blue plate here. Now, the part that I'm using in the instructions is like dark azure or some weird color like that, but you could really use whatever color you want. It's not really important. You could probably use like just regular blue, and that would look just fine. Um, anyway, so the, yeah, you're just going to put these brackets on like so. Uh, put the bracket on the back, and another bracket on the back. And let's go ahead and take this white pentagonal shield piece, plug that in, take the rest of the head, which, or take the rest of the eyebrows, I guess I, guess I should say, which is this uh, four-wheeler mudguard with some gold teeth. We're just going to put that on top. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the lower jaw. And to do that, we're going to take these pieces, flip one of them around like this so it's upside down, and connect them together. Then take this, which is what I call a texture slope piece, but I'm not sure what the actual name is. And then we're going to take uh, these black inverted brackets, and then this uh, socket plate. And then we're just going to plug them in like this. And then we're going to take a, you know, a slope, a clip, and a horn piece. And plug that in. And then a slope, a clip, and another horn. And plug that in. And there we go. Chompy's head is done. Super simple. All right, that is it for a brief look at Woo's Battle Dragon slash Chompy slash whatever you want to call him. Anyway, yeah, and by the way, I do know that that is Woo's old summer suit. I can't find the Master of the Mountain suit right now, so sue me. Or not, I don't care. Anyway, that's it for today. You already know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. Stay tuned. We have some more builds and whatnot coming your way.